Hi guys, welcome to Tech Pros. Today I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows Store app downloading and upgrading error. Sometimes it happens, especially when there are issues with your OS update or maybe issues with your time settings. There are a few things you need to do about this and troubleshoot. I'll show you how to troubleshoot this issue, okay? So first thing you need to check is your time settings. If you haven't set your time and died correctly this can actually prevent a uh, windows store from connecting to the server or downloading uh, apps in that case you get some errors so sometimes people also get errors like this error 0x800705 so in this case also you need to check your time and date settings so check your time and date settings and just try to download the update or download the app from uh, windows store so to set it correct just go to settings and here you can see that time and language you can here set it to automatic or or you can also turn this off and manually you can do that so if that doesn't fix update the OS. if you have any update if you go to update and security and here you can see your updates so if there are any updates just download and install if you haven't yet uh, updated once it's downloaded sometimes you will have to reboot your system then only the the changes will take effect so in that case just download and install the update and reboot your system and then try to download the apps from windows store the next thing you need to do is if that doesn't work run update troubleshoot sorry just go to windows settings then here go to update and security then go to troubleshoot here there are two troubleshootings one is for windows store and the other is for windows update if there is any issues with the actual OS update in that case you need to run this troubleshooting run troubleshoot just it will scan now it'll take a few minutes just click next 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 and if it finds any problems just click apply fix it will show you if you want if it will ask you if you want to apply fix or not in that case uh, just click that apply fix then it will automatically fix the issue so it'll take a uh, several minutes keep scanning for a while then it'll show you if there are any issues with your update or something and if you want to do something in that case just click apply fix then it will be fixed and try downloading apps from windows store if that doesn't fix just go all the way down on the same window then here you can see that windows store app troubleshoot just run this app troubleshoot it will just like the update os update troubleshoot it will also take a few minutes uh, then it will analyze if there is any problem it will show you the problem so you can reset the app that and working right from apps on features open for open apps and features so it's telling me if there is you know you can also reset the apps and like that but that's not what we want then click next and it will diagnose problems and if there is problem it will show you hanging or crashing apps so in this case give feedback on this troubleshoot and close the troubleshoot there's actually there's no any fix so it's not showing there is a, an issue here it's showing sometimes it can be uh, fixed in the next reboot so that's how it works sometimes you know it can fix automate this troubleshooting system will fix the problem then just go to windows store and try downloading the app or try upgrading the app if you're getting this uh, error okay then if that doesn't fix uh, just reset the windows store to do that just type in ws reset and you will get this just right click run as administrator then it will reset the windows store that's it and close it and you can also reset windows store just go to windows settings and go to apps and here type in store and you get this right and click and you have these advanced options and here you can reset windows store once you reset from here this icon will disappear from here then you need to go back to a start menu and search for the app or you can also search from here store and you can right click and pin it on taskbar and start menu so that's how it works so try resetting here okay then go back to your windows store and try downloading or upgrade uh, updating your apps 
If that doesn't fix, then next thing you need to do is on uh, PowerShell. Use PowerShell. Just go to search and then type in PowerShell. Then right click, run it as administrator. Then once you are here, just first uh, try this one. Just copy this. I have put these details in the description. Just check out that. Just copy that and paste it here and click enter. It will take sometimes several minutes. Then if there is any, any issue, it will restart. Then you need to restart your computer. Once you did that, run the next scan. That is SFC scan now. And copy this one. Just like that. Just PowerShell. Right click and run administrator tool. Then copy this into this PowerShell and click enter. It will also take a few minutes or sometimes several minutes to complete this scan. And then after that, just reboot your system and try downloading or updating your apps. So you can see the progress here. It's verification, zero percent like that. So that's it. So if none of them works, you can do another thing is just re-registering re Windows Store. Uh, for that, just the same way, just go to PowerShell, type in PowerShell, then right click and run as administrator. And open that then copy this and paste it here and click enter it will actually re-register your windows store then just go back to your windows store and try downloading or updating your apps this should fix your problem you know there can be some issues like some people's a Windows Store keep downloading apps and it never stops. It keeps downloading even after it actually downloaded the complete size, but it keeps growing in size, but it never stops. In that case, you can try all these tricks, but in most cases, you will have to delete that upgrade or download and restart the download. Otherwise, it may not fix. Just try rebooting your system and try restarting, sometimes especially when the app is like 30 or 40 gigabytes of size you, you may have lost a lot of data especially if you have a limited data package in that case you know you are going to lose a lot of data right in that case you may not want to restart uh, this whole process again and download so in that case you can try all these tricks but in most cases you will have to delete that update or upgrade or download and restart the download then only it will fix okay Sometimes these tricks may fix, but sometimes, especially when the app keeps downloading even after its size is completed, like 24 gigabytes. After 24 gigabytes, sometimes it will keep downloading to 25, 26, 27, like that. It never stops, okay? So in that case, try all these tricks. And if it doesn't fix, the only way you can fix is by just deleting that download and restarting that upgrade or restarting that download so guys i hope it helps so please subscribe to my channel for more videos tips and tricks like this and thank you for watching